Thank you. A wave of violence hits Baltimore over the long holiday weekend. The city's top cop says police need help solving almost a dozen shootings that left at least 10 people dead. WJZ is live at city police headquarters. Mike Shu with details about the bloodshed. Good morning, Mike. Well, good morning, Lynn. Let that number sink in. 10 people, 10 people died over this three day weekend. And the commissioner says that many of those shootings are not random and some were retaliatory. Last night, just before 10, near Lake Ashburton on Liberty Heights, one man dies at the hospital. They're so fast to shoot and kill. Multiple people have been killed by gunfire and several others injured in shootings since Friday. I was just shocked to hear that it was in the neighborhood, you know, where I live. WJZ spoke to several people who did not want to be identified, saying that the rise in violence is unsettling. We had a smart deployment strategy in place where we have officers in the key areas. And in two of these incidents, we actually had an officer within a block of the gunfire. The commissioner says he's serious about cracking down on illegal firearms, that these weapons are at the core of the violence. It's more people on the street and into other things. Police say that it appears some of the gunfire was retaliatory. Instead of being safe, you know, at home. And investigators say several of those involved are no strangers to the criminal justice system. All investigations are now open and active. They just have no regard for a human life. So while the new police surveillance plane was up this weekend, the commissioner can't say if it captured any of the shootings. I'm actually reporting live at city police headquarters for WJZ.